a little update on our kitchen remodel. So we got the big window in. If you guys remember, this window used to be really small, but look at this view. I literally feel like I'm living in a tree house now because this is what I see when I look out the window. That view is just insane. Does this feel like a tree house now in the forest? It does to me. I love it. And then we got the butcher block countertops in. They're not done yet. They still have to finish over here. And then we have the farmhouse sink that's going to be cut out here. And then there it is right there. There, there was no garbage disposal in here when we moved in. So we're adding that as well. And then we have the, oh, this is a disaster. Everything is just such a mess because it just keeps getting messy every day because of the construction. So I've given up on cleaning until they're done. But we got this really cool reverse osmosis water filter thing. And so we're gonna hook up this so this will get our clean water out of. I thought this was really pretty. And then I also, it doesn't match perfectly, but again, I always, always try to get secondhand products from Amazon if they have them. And that is what the sink uh, faucet, kitchen faucet looks like. I like these like vintage looking handles. I think are really cool and yeah. So I will show it to you guys when it's all done. But for now, this is kind of the progress of what the house is looking like. We took the fan light out, so it's kind of dark in here, but Travis is gonna put recess lights in throughout the house, so that'll help. And then also in the kitchen, so we'll take out these dated lights and put some recess lighting in. I think it'll help with just the light in here when it gets darker, and also it will just kind of bring your eye up taller because we don't have like high ceilings. They're just like regular standard eight foot ceilings, I think. It will help kind of draw your attention up to the ceiling instead of, you know, lower where those are. So for right now, that's kind of the plan. And then I think I told you guys we plan on doing open shelving and Travis wants to paint the walls white, which I'm totally fine with. We're keeping these walls the color that they are because we really like them. We think they have like a very calming effect but for the kitchen, he wants to make it white. I said, okay. And then eventually we're gonna change this light out and also this door situation. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys real life here. That's <laughs> what it's looking like. And real life over here on the floor, the kids were, Snow had climbed up and was sitting up here eating an apple. I need you to get down from there right now. How did you get up? Storm, get down. It's literally like their jungle gym. It's so dangerous and it literally freaks me out. But, you know. Also, I don't know what is going on in this plant. Is that, I'm assuming it's some sort of like a fungus. Or something going on the plant is doing fine i think but yeah i don't know what's going on some of these don't have them and then some of them look like they do are starting to get them i don't know this is just lovely i need to clean up this mess but my vacuum broke so this dyson i have had for years i bought it secondhand on amazon it just keeps the motor just keeps going out i don't know what's happening it like works for like five seconds shuts off works for five seconds shuts off i've tried cleaning out the like sometimes that will happen if it gets like clogged in here but this i think is just done so i got a bissel it was like half the price so like a, a bissel cordless stick vacuum so i'll let you guys know what i think about that one also got our little dehydrator over there which i can't wait to use and oh did I show you guys my farm fresh eggs? This was Snow's art project today with the glue. I got these little clothespins for like a math project for them and she glued them all together. All right, look at that. Isn't that so pretty? 
I love rainbow eggs. They just make me so happy and they're so much healthier for you than store-bought eggs. The store-bought eggs, they say, are usually probably 30 days old, if not older. But these, if you don't wash them, which you can see, these aren't washed, you can leave them out on your counter for a very long time and they'll stay totally fine. And they're a lot healthier because they're fresher. So they hold a lot more nutrients and vitamins and minerals when they are just laid, as opposed to one that are sitting on the shelf for 30 days or more. So fun fact, again, this table that I just keep walking by and not cleaning for whatever reason, I tried covering the couch with these blankets so that the dust would not, from the construction, would not get on the couch. And then this happens. Do you guys see what that is? I'm pretty sure it's the washable face paint. I just saw it and I had to take a breath. Let's just do a little current house tour. I'm watching, I forget what it's called. It's something on Netflix about like how to manage your money or whatever. I need to be better with that. I really need to go on like a no buy because I've just been really bad with my spending lately. Basically spending more than I'm making and that's never good. So I think my favorite part of this house is feeling like we, like for one, having just beautiful views everywhere, but feeling like we live in the forest. And I guess it's not a feeling, it's like just a fact, <laughs> but but it also feels like it, you know? And so I don't know, I kind of like that. I don't know if you guys can see the wild turkeys out there. We have so many just like wild turkeys all the time that I feel like I don't have to keep them because they're there and if an emergency happened, we needed to get them, like we, they'd literally be in our yard. Just a little overview of Snowy's room. I think I showed you guys that I put little cubbies to organize their toys. So that's been doing well. We need to finish putting the light plates on. You did what? I don't, I don't know what he just said. You climb. Hey, bud, you can't keep this open. That's how. Okay, you can go potty. Sissy, what are you doing? I need you to get me out of here. Why are you jumping in the river? Honey, we're not jumping in the river right now. Okay, okay you can go if I'm out there watching you, but there's a lot of wild animals, so you have to stay with mom. Just because, honey, I want to keep you safe. I want to keep my eye on you. Why? So I can keep you safe and protected. All right, let me put my garden shoes on and I'll go with you. Let me get brother. Hold on. We have cameras like all over so I can see them, but I still don't like them going out there alone. Let me show you Storm's room and then I will we'll go to the Russian River. That's what we named it. That's not what it's called, but it's what we named it. All right, this is Storm's room. Currently what it looks like, his little cubby closet. They tried to climb up it to get up here and bent it. So I'm hoping Trav can fix it. But we also have their little shoe organizing clothes system. And yeah. That's what his room looks like. Got their little Himalayan salt lamp night lights. So cute. I love his room because he has a view of the garden. Look at these little free range kids. <laughs> They're like climbing the fence to go to the little river. Or it's not a river, it's a little stream, but it's so cute. Oh wow, what did she just pull up? What was that? She just, oh my gosh, I think it was a little acorn tree that she just pulled up. All right, let's go check that out. I need to change my shoes out because it's muddy and wet out there. Also, I spent like an hour putting together these little, do you see these all over the ground? Uh, it's like a little hoop, th hoop net for the garden and the kids decided to take them apart after <laughs> it took me forever to put them together. All right, I need to go get socks actually, hold on. Also got this little cart I put together for their homeschool stuff, which helps kind of keep things organized for me. All right, what am 
am I doing? Oh yeah, I need to get socks. Giving kids piano lessons. They like to read and so I'll read them little stories and they sit here and I sit there. It's kind of sweet. My little sewing machine that I can't wait to can use again. I've been planning out different handmade things that I'm making for Patreon members for the giveaways I do. So I've been having fun doing that. I go like on Pinterest and then I will like pick out little handmade things that I think are really cute that like I would want as a gift from somebody. And then I create like a little cute giveaway basket box, if you will. And I pick one giveaway winner each month on Patreon as like a little gift for me to say like, thanks for being here and supporting us on Patreon. So I'm excited to use the sewing machine for that. And yeah, makes me happy when I look at it. I also love using chairs as like a catch-all, you know, I've been, you could see, I've been using them like in different parts of the house and I kind of love it. I got these extra chairs with this table I bought on Facebook marketplace and I've just been using them like all over. And they're the great, greatest little like table slash chair slash catch all. I don't know. I kind of love them. They're like my new favorite thing right now. All right. I'm going to put these socks on, get my boots on and go play with my children in the woods. All right. I got my socks on. These socks are probably like my favorite socks. I've, my mom is kind of like a snock, a snock, a sock snob. And she buys these like really fancy socks that have like all this really nice cushioning and stuff on them. And she always gives them to me and I'm so grateful. And then I bought some like what I thought were hiking socks for when we were traveling full time in the RV and like doing a bunch of hiking. And they were so comfortable. Look how cute I look today. They were so comfortable. And I had them for like two years, I think. And they still have stood up like the test of time. They were kind of pricey for me. I think they were like 20 bucks or something. And I was like, that's so expensive. All right, I'm coming. Wait, how did you guys get out? Did you climb the fence? Um, yes. You guys both climbed to the fence. Cause look at, this is like, so that they can't get out. That didn't stop my kids. Right. Okay, honey, give me a second. I'm trying to figure out how to get out. I don't want to climb the fence. I want to, I gotta be strong to open that. Oh, Can you undo this one? Cause it's hard for me to bend down to reach that one. My body's broken. Come on, Snow, you're stronger than me. Okay. Pull really hard, push that way really hard. Here, I'll help. Touch him, mom. Oh, thanks, honey. You got a little flower for me? All right, here, let me help. Let me, you know what? Let me just go the other way. It's just gonna be easier. Hold on. I'll, I'll be, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come the other way, okay? I could jump the fence, but I have my phone. I don't wanna drop it. How cute is this little like shovel? <laughs> we use it to like dig little holes to plant seeds. All right, one sec. All right, what was I talking about? I felt like I was telling you guys something. I can't remember, I got distracted. Oh well, all right, let's go find the kids. Do you guys see how my face is really round right now? I think it's cause my thyroid, I need to get my levels checked and I haven't in a long time, but I think my medication's like really off. Whew, look at this view. Look at the turkeys, do you see the turkeys? Hi turkeys. Hi turkey, turkey, turkey. <laughs> They're wild, they're not like, you know, ones you feed or anything. Anyway, there's our window that we got put in. And gosh, that view, I just will never get old. So here is a little herb garden. This is spearmint. I think that, I don't know if the women that lived here, the woman that lived here before us knew that spearmint was like super invasive or not, but there is spearmint, oregano, and rosemary. And I think this was like what she was making a little herb garden, which I think is so cute. And I kind of want to keep with that tradition, but I definitely need to get rid of the spearmint because it's going to take over the whole, it's going to take over everything. Travis was like, should we use that Christmas tree and cut it down and use it for Christmas? So I was like, I don't know. <laughs> should we? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. 
Anyway, these are all blackberry. Oh wait, no, not that one. Hold on, these ones right here. All along the property, we have tons of blackberry bushes, just like all over. Do you see those little white flowers? Those should turn into all blackberries and they're literally all over our property. And I cannot wait because I'm hoping that the animals will save some for us and we can harvest a bunch to make like jam and just all the things because our family loves blackberries. Oh my gosh, they went past. Hey, you guys can't go that far. Come here. Oh, they're like literally escaping into the forest. Hey, you guys, I don't want you guys going across the river. You guys can't go past that far for one because there's a bear out here that our neighbors have caught on the cameras. And if they have babies with them, it could be very dangerous. There's also other things in these woods that could hurt you, like snakes. Okay, show me how you guys got across the river or the stream. Um, we were all the way over here. Okay, and Storm, come here, bud. And down, and There's so many mosquitoes out here. We've gotten like eaten alive by them and they're literally everywhere out here, especially by the water. All right, come here guys. So we have cameras. We don't usually let the kids, well, I don't ever let the kids come out here and play alone, but you can see we have like cameras in different areas to keep an eye on them just in case. So I don't want to go that far over there. Okay, I'll tell you what. If you guys let me spray some mosquito spray on you, then we can go out there, okay? Okay, can you spray some mosquitoes? Yeah, can you look all around? You see how many mosquitoes are flying all over around us? Yeah. Yeah, they bite you and then they itch really mm. bad. Yeah. Hey. Okay, so let's go put some spray on and then we can come play. Come on. Hey, hey. Right. Honey, shoot, shoot, shoot. I told you, they're really bad. <laughs> they're gonna eat you alive. Come on, get out of the woods. Get out of the woods. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh my God, the mosquitoes are so bad out here. Shoot. It's starting shoot. to rain. You hear it? Yeah. But we want to go over there. Can you please get them out of here? They're going to get us. All right, you guys got to spray some stuff on you before you come out here. Yeah. From now on, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, shoot, shoot, shoot. Pretty sure it just got bit like four times. Maybe more <laughs> walking out here. Oh, I can't wait for all the blackberries. There's just so many, like all over. It's so cool. Can't wait for you guys to be little blackberries. So that should be a blackberry, blackberry, blackberry. Bl oh, just got a mosquito in my mouth. All right, I think it's time to go inside. Guys, let's go inside for a little bit. Those, no, don't eat them. They're mock strawberries. No, they're mock strawberries. Yeah, mock strawberries. You can, they're not as good as they look. There's a, oh my gosh. You guys, let's go inside because the mosquitoes are just really, really bad right now. Okay. But mommy, can you just spray some mosquito things? I can, but mosquitoes are actually the deadliest animal in the world. Did you guys, don't eat it, Storm. I just told you not to eat it. Come on, bud. No, They're not strawberries. <laughs> They're not strawberries. I see that you guys keep getting bit. Can we go inside for a little bit? We're getting literally attacked. Come on, let's go inside. We're gonna get mosquitoes all over us. Honey, you already have them all over you. Come on. Come on, snowstorm. Storm. Hurry up, I don't want the mosquitoes getting in the house. Are you trying to hide the little strawberries from me? What's behind your back? Um, a strawberry. Let me see. Can I, I see? Here, just show me in your hand. You don't have to, I'm not gonna take it. I just wanna see it. Okay. I just wanna look at it. Oh, wow. But, but can we take it in the house? Yeah, that's fine, go on. Inside. Mom, I, I want Boots to off, house. boots off. Boots off. Mommy, we, I want, we want you to uh, spray it all off around our arms so no mosquitoes get 
Yeah. Okay. Please. How is it? Is it good? Mm -hmm. You ate it? Does it taste sweet or sour? Uh, sour. Sour? Mm -hmm. I told you it's not good. They're edible. He can eat them. They're not going to poison him or hurt him. It's just they're not as sweet as strawberries. So I just didn't want him to expect something that... You got it. Let's go wash our hands, okay? Yeah, yeah. I don't wash my hands. All right. I need to do some more research on my... Oop. Are you okay, buddy? Come here, buddy. Come here, sweetheart. Come here, bud. Oh, honey. You okay? Oh. Storm gets hurt, like, so much. It's kind of crazy. I, like, looked up, like... Is it normal for your kid to get hurt that much? Honey, yes, but right now we're going to wait to go outside, okay? We're going to wait a little bit before we go outside. I know, honey, but the spray doesn't help you after. It just helps to keep them off of you. It doesn't help to after you get a mosquito bite, okay? I know, because you got attacked by mosquitoes outside. That's why you don't go outside without mom. Do you want some cortisone cream? Um, yeah. Okay. Go and, sit. But I need some spray. Um, okay, I'll spray things. you too. <laughs> anyway, I need to look up mosquitoes and just like do a little bit more research on them because I didn't realize how many we had here and my kids are getting literally like bit so much. Like poor Storm got it the worst. Like while he's sleeping in the house, you know? So, all right, hold on. Okay, sorry, my brain's like all over the place. I keep trying to tell you guys something. I forget what I'm going to say. I need to go to Pinterest and look up all of the natural remedies, solutions, solutions, tinctures for mosquitoes. So if you guys have any that you know of and swear by, let me know. I do have like that little anti-itch bug thing that I bought. It's in the snowmobile RV. What was that? Sorry. What was it? Oh. Sorry. Really? I'm sorry. Honey, that was custom for this bathroom. I'm sorry. It's okay. I know it was an accident, but you need to be more careful next time. Sorry, This Mom. was a special glass that the woman that used to live here had that was made custom for this bathroom, and it was really special. But, Mom, now it breaks. I know. That's okay. Mistakes happen, okay? Next time, we just need to be more careful with but things that are breakable. But can you put some glue on? Well, we can try. Yeah? Yep, don't touch careful. I don't, here, watch out. There's some more pieces right here from where it broke that I don't want you guys getting hurt on. There's like this gold stuff it that like other it. cultures use to fix something that was broken and it's considered more beautiful. I forget what the term is called. Anyway, it, it was came with this. So it was like a little custom piece. I'm sure you can buy something like that again but lived here once like used it and i don't know just little things like that i feel like are special and get like passed down to the next person that is the steward of the land you know and so it makes me kind of sad that it broke but that's okay anyway i was saying oh i know what i was saying that i really want to run to pinterest and look up all like the mosquito bite things that are good for like if you have you know mosquito bites or whatever and i know we have some stuff in the motorhome so i need to go look and check to see but anyway let me know if you guys have any like i don't know are there certain i'm sure there's certain like essential oils that you could use or something to like use that's like all natural let me know okay i had to tell you guys something this is so crazy i was shocked when i saw this on my kid's tablet i have the, the these are the tablets that my kids have they're the like amazon kids tablets they have like it's supposed to be all like kid friendly stuff and i know they say like watch you know like monitor your kids things or we have like the kids setting things on like all the settings to make sure that they're not like watching bad stuff well i put the internet on for them sometimes so that snow really likes watching like the other kids doing makeup tutorials and stuff like that and so 
I'll put it on for her to watch those when I'm there, like next to her, and I can hear what she's watching. Because we try to be like kind of helicoptery when it comes to that kind of stuff. But even with us being like what you would call helicopter parents and thinking that we were monitoring their tablets well, I was so wrong because there is a show. I don't, again, I don't know how in the world they allow stuff like this on tablets. Hold on, I gotta show you this. You're not gonna believe it. I have to show you because if I didn't show you, you probably wouldn't believe it. So I watched them playing a game one day and it looked kind of weird. And they're like, yeah, we go in and we, we boom the old lady and take the shiny things in the house. And I was like, what is she talking about? You see this robbery, Bob? There's literally a game where kids go and rob an old lady. I mean, like this, you can't make this up. It's literally for little kids. So let's just open it up so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay. So it's like making noise in the suburbs. They literally have a jumpsuit on. It's called Man of Steel. The robbers come in with guns. Like, this is insane. So they go into the house and they rob the house and get the stuff. And there's people in it and they kill the people. Like, as they're, I can't, I can't even believe that they have this for kids. Like, how is this even allowed? I was literally like shocked. I'm like, how, who would have thought to make a game where you go in and rob people like for kids. Like I, like honestly, I have a really hard time because even all of the TV shows, a lot of the kids shows, I'm like, why do they put this stuff in here for children? Like it's not appropriate. And I just, I don't understand how it's, there's so many like rules and laws and regulations for so many things in life. But when it comes to things that like are actually important, like protecting our children, and making sure that the generations that we're raising that are going to be part of our society are good little humans. They're, they have tablets of robbing people. Like that's what they're learning. You know what I mean? Like I was really upset, like as at myself, as a parent for allowing my kids to have something like this on, even though I feel like I caught it pretty early, but still like I was just shocked that like they had that. And so if you are a mom, <laughs> And you happen to let your kids have screen time, which I think for kids that are neurodivergent, screen time is actually really great for them. I think it's very helpful. It helps them learn a ton of things. There's so many good things about having a tablet. There's a lot of educational stuff on here. They learn a ton from Blippi and like, you know, some of the other educational shows that are good shows. So I don't want to take it away from them completely because I know they're learning a lot on there and they have fun and it helps them when they're going through like, uh, you know, hard times, but also I just wish that we didn't have to worry about these horrible games that they're putting on these tablets that are supposed to just be for kids. So yeah, I don't know if any of you guys have kids and have experienced that at all, but yeah, I was just really shocked to see that on there. And there's not just one. It's like robbery, Bob part two, the kids had downloaded. I'm like, how did you even find this? How did this get on your tablet? So anyway, just thought I'd share that with you because I'm just like a little PSA, check your kids' tablets and monitor frequently because you know it only takes one game like that to teach your kids something that you don't want them to learn. But now I've taken that as an opportunity to teach the kids like, hey, listen, that's really bad. And I give them a scenario, like if somebody, a stranger came into your house and took your tablets and your candy and all your toys that you worked really hard for and like, you know, did all these chores, worked really hard, earned money to get those things that you really wanted. And it took you a long time to get those things and you worked really hard for them. And then somebody came in and took them. Like, wouldn't you be so sad and upset? And they were like, yeah, mom, like we don't want anyone taking our stuff. So exactly. That's why you don't want to go into someone else's house and take their stuff. Like that's not right. It's really bad. And in fact, you can go to jail, you know? And like, so I used it as a learning opportunity. So now they know. And I told them the thing is, is they really like playing the game. And so I said, listen, well, first I deleted the game. Cause I was like so mad. And then they tried to sneak it and put it back on. <laughs> They're three and five. I can't imagine what they're going to be like as teenagers, but I'm trying not to stress myself out. But anyway, I basically had that talk with them. And then I said, listen, 
I understand if it's fun for you to play the game, but if you want to play the game, you can play it as long as you know that you would never do that in real life. And it's a really horrible thing. And we don't do that. And, you know, I don't love that you're playing that game. So now they know mom doesn't really like it. It's not good. We should never do that in real life. We can get in a lot of trouble. So that's where we're at right now. Never thought I would put that game on and leave it on there for them. But, you know, you gotta choose your battles. And I know that there's other games that like video games that are violent, right? So like when you think about it, the video games that are being made, they're like shooting and killing people. And that's what kids are playing these days. And so, but I know that these kids would not go out and hopefully do that in real life. So anyway, that's what I'm getting at. But I just, for three and five years old, like, no, stop making games for kids. Anyway, that's my little talk for today. I think that's it. I'm going to go hang out with the kids, watch Pinocchio with them and then do some homeschool and, and just, yeah, I think that's it for today. But anyway, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Sending you all my love and all my positive energy. Hope to see you in the next video. Mwah.